Good evening. We're live outside St. Michael's Hospital and the long lineups we've grown accustomed to seeing outside Ontario's assessment centres are now gone. It's certainly not because there's been a decrease in demand, but the Ford government has shifted to appointment-only testing, which is raising some concerns, and appointments are already filling up fast. From hours long lineups to none at all. Starting today, Ontario's COVID 19 assessment centres are no longer accepting walk ins, shifting to appointment only testing as of Tuesday. As the weather begins to worsen, we can't have people waiting in the cold waiting in the rain and snow to get a test. The Ford government announcing the change on Friday, raising concerns that the move could artificially deflate the province's daily case counts as fewer people will be tested. We should not be tightening testing criteria. We should not be reducing testing. We should be increasing it. It will also help the government clear a massive backlog in tests reaching record highs this week. More than 91,000 specimens were still under investigation yesterday and the tests expire after just three days. We don't have the capacity we need and moving to an appointment system doesn't actually solve that problem. It just makes it less visible. Booking an appointment might also be difficult. We checked in with a number of Toronto hospitals and their slots are already full for at least the next three days. Some still working to shift to an appointment based system with almost no notice. It just puts up uh, a, maybe a bit of a barrier to getting a diagnostic test and it might be uh, it might dissuade some people from getting a diagnostic test if they actually need one. With case counts poised to drop, health professionals will have to rely on other metrics to determine the virus's impact in the province and help the government make public health policy decisions. We can look at the seven-day average, we can look at the number of tests performed per day, we can look at what, uh, of all the tests performed, what is the percent that are positive. So there's a few other metrics that I think will be extremely helpful in painting a picture. And there's another important metric some experts are leaning on for a more accurate indicator of infection rate in the province. Serology testing uses blood samples to measure COVID-19 antibodies to determine the proportion of the population that is likely to have been infected with the virus at a point in time. The latest findings have determined the province's numbers are catching just one in almost four cases. So it has a huge impact because when you don't actually catch cases, you're not able to like, trace and isolate those people properly. The only way that you can successfully isolate a case is to have them tested or to let that person for sure know that they actually have COVID-19.